Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials, and welcome back to a new video. All right, guys. Well, today we're going to do something uh, pretty cool. At least I think so. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create an animation in Maya, and we're going to export it into Keyshot, and we're going to render out the animation in Keyshot. All right. Now, before we can do that, we obviously need a few things. Uh, first of all, Maya, of course. Uh, but in addition, you need Keyshot. So we're going to go to the Keyshot website. Uh, website. Sorry. Yep. And on Keyshot.com, you also have the option to get a trial version if you don't have it, all right? So you can still follow along with this tutorial, all right? Uh, it has some restrictions, the trial version, but, um, you know, it's like a watermark in your render and so forth. But besides that, it should all work the same. Now, uh, if you have Keyshot installed and you have Maya installed, we're not quite there yet because we need a plugin to allow you to export your scene from Maya to Keyshot. So we're going to go to Resources, Downloads. We're going to scroll down and we're going to go to the Plugin button. All right. Once we've got that selected, we're going to go down and look for the software that we're using, in my case, Maya. And you have to select the version of Maya that you have. Well, I got Maya 2016, and I have a Windows machine, so Windows 64-bit. If you have an Apple, you know, a Mac, you would use that. Okay. So once you click on this, and I already did, uh, it will download the file, and then you simply, you know, uh, execute it and install it. And once you have that all done, and you go back to Maya, you will have a tab called Keyshot, and it will have these blue icons. But be aware that is not, we're not there yet. One more thing to do. You're going to go to Windows, Settings Preferences. We're going to go to Plugin Manager. And if you scroll down, you will find Keyshot Maya Plugin 2016, where you need to have Loaded and Auto Load selected at a minimum loaded so it works now and auto load will load it every time you start Maya okay so let's close that up all right so what do we need next we need an animation now for the purpose of this video we're going to keep this extremely simple so we can actually do the render in this video and I'll just take a polygon cube there we go and let's pull it up so it's sitting on the grid like that okay now I'm on frame one of my animation here so with my object selected I'm gonna hit S to keyframe that and then I'm gonna scroll my mouse to frame 5 and let's pull the cube up a little bit and hit S on my keyboard again so now if I go to my start frame and hit play you'll see that it's bouncing up and down. It's going pretty quick because we've only got five frames, but you can see that it's moving, all right? So we're gonna go back. We got our cube selected. We're gonna go to our Keyshot tab and we're gonna select the first icon where it says send a scene to Keyshot, okay? Let's hit that. Then we're gonna open up Keyshot and there you go, there's our cube. Now, just to prove to you that we actually exported the animation, you see that there's an animation slider down here. And I'm just going to simply hit play. And there you go. Right? Now, it translated five uh, frames into five seconds. Normally, you would have a different frame rate. But the way that I set this up at 30 frames per second, this is taking five seconds. Now, the cool thing about Keyshot is even after uh, exporting your animation, you can kind of change it in Keyshot, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to pause, go to frame one, and I don't want this to take five seconds, so I'm going to hover my mouse and left click and drag, and I'm going to make sure that I got the right one. Let's hit control Z. There we go. Yeah. Let's bring that into three seconds. Okay, let's hit play again, and you can see that it's acting much faster all right okay so before we're going to render this out uh, let's give it a little bit more appeal so what we're going to do is just to add a simple uh, material to it let's take a uh, plastic surface maybe something that's a bit more 
shiny. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we'll take that. Uh, let's go to lighting and let's see. We'll do global illumination. We'll do grand illumination, which is kind of a cool effect. And, you know, we're not going to do too much detail on that. All right. So now we're going to go to render. And I'm going to select render here. Because we want to do this in uh, one tutorial, I'm going to select the animation tab. I'm going to go to presets and let's keep this very small and basic. All right. For the entire duration, which is a little over three seconds. And let's see, um, we'll call this uh, cube.avi. I'm going to save it out on my desktop. Select the folder, uh, frame outputs. Uh, I don't really want to do that because it's going to save the individual images as well. I just want the video output. So I'm going to hit render. Uh, although it's a very small animation, it's still going to take a while. So I'll pause the video during rendering and I'll see you guys when it's done. See you in a bit. Hi guys. Well, the render is done. As you can see, it's uh, playing in AVI format. Uh, you know, obviously it's a, a pretty crappy animation and it kind of sucks, but that's not the point of this video. Uh, so yeah, you can see that you can uh, export it to Keyshot and, uh, you know, render it out there. You can use backgrounds and so forth. So kind of neat. So if you've got any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.